Eddie's asked for the spray. Hey guys. Aww. Like it was just, it just seems right. Yeah. Happy the hamster with a little heart so he knows what's up. 2018 to 2021, which by the way, guys, is like a hundred years old. Yeah, he lived a really long life. So for those of you that don't know, Happy Sir Hamster Lot has moved on into the next realm. He had a long, awesome life. We loved him very much and he brought us a lot of joy. And we're happy to know that we gave him a beautiful, beautiful, fun, healthy life. He passed about a week ago in his hamster castle. Like he actually was in his castle mm -hmm. when I found him, just peaceful. We are going to go and place this where he lay. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, you gotta spray it. Yeah, just because it's MDF. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but. Yeah, I put him all the way in the back over here, right underneath these awesome wind chimes and this beautiful butterfly. We have Josie's stuff still, and I think we should do a tribute for Mr. Fluff Fluff too back here. I put him right here where this rock is. And I also put a piece of his castle that he was in. Thanks for making that for him. Sure, remember guys, there's no shame in this. He lived a full, long, awesome life. Yeah. We didn't all be hopefully so lucky. Oh, there it is. I didn't look at it. We gotta hammer that in there too. Yeah, we should all be so lucky. He lived a great life and he was a senior hamster. Can you get that in the ground too? I think sure. that would be great with him. I love that spot, castle. Man. I can't believe he passed in his castle. Like how perfect is that for him? I know. I know we're gonna build up around it with rocks. Yeah, there you go, Happy. He was our first hamster and an amazing one. Mm -hmm. He's super cute. So I went ahead and I actually donated all of his stuff to go to another hamster so that that hamster can live a long, happy life too. Oh yeah, pay it forward, man. We gotta pay it forward. And that is his gift to another hammy friend. I didn't do it again because we have uh, we have some trauma happening in the house with our loved ones, our furry loved ones. That's gorgeous. Look at that. That's that looks beautiful. really good. That looks really good. I love that. All right, now we got to talk about Miss Snowy. Miss Snowy? Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah. Thank you, Happy, for giving us an awesome experience with you. We love you very much. Goodbye, little fella. Till we meet again, which we will. And there she is. Hi, Miss Snowy. Hi, sweetheart. So, you guys remember Josie. I really think we should do a tribute for Fluff Fluff and Josie. Josie was our beautiful, beloved kitten, and she died of something called FIP. FIP. What's the real life feline? It's a, it's a coronavirus, it's really, really common. A lot of cats get it and then they heal. But some cats, it mutates yeah. and turns to a fatal disease called FIP. There's no solve, there's no medication, there's no nothing. Basically, it's a death sentence. It's like 98%. Death rate. So get? this little girl has it. Yep. Has FIP. She stopped playing. She was just chill. We thought that she was a super chill cat. And Josie was like that. And I'm like, man, Josie's super chill. And then Josie got really hot. But what difference happened with this baby is her belly started growing. Look, yeah, we thought it now was she's food. playing. We, we thought it was to, food. Um, we went to the vet and I'm like, why is this home girl getting such a big belly? What's going on? And then um, it took the vet all of five seconds to realize that it's all fluid. Oh, so, so she has wet FIP. Wet there's a FIP. dry and a wet. But there's good news, shockingly good news. So the vet told me about this Facebook group and I joined it and within four hours, I had medication uh, in my hand, uh, oh. this new test medication. And it's been an, an injection every single day. Oh. And uh, <laughs> as you can see, it's actually working. The fluid in her belly disappeared. Uh -huh. uh, I've been reading all about this medication and it's absolutely bonkers. Like the success rate is like 90 to 95%. It's like almost a guaranteed heal from, from FIP. And we saw a night and day difference by day seven? No, by day two, she was no longer sleeping. She was running around and frolicking. And we were like, oh my goodness. And then by day seven, uh, her, her stomach started getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And now she trolls me while I go to sleep. She's running around. She's completely hyperactive. It's like she's been a full recovery. And I just can't help but think like, I wish that this medication had been discovered just two years prior. Yeah, we could save Josie. Yeah, but, but who is, knew? Yeah, it's so new. new. Like the first traces of anything on, on Google from this medication is like 2018. 
Oh my goodness. And, and we wanted to bring it up on the show and talk about it for those of you that have had pets pass like we have, and we learned about FIP first from a pet that passed, but there is now thankfully a way to save our babies. And, and, and we're, you know, testament, like this, this baby, we put the toys away. She stopped playing with the toys. I finally brought the toys back out well, a week ago. We're on week two with her. This is crazy how much of a difference it is. Yeah, at this point, I'm like 100% confident she will make a full, full recovery because it's night and day difference. It's absolutely bonkers. But depending on your vet, if you do have a sick kitty, God forbid, if you do have a sick kitty and they do have FIP, your vet might not be aware of this. It's very new. If they haven't heard of it, just get on the Googles and start searching for it. You'll find it. Yeah, find and it. they call it FIP Warriors. Yeah, that's the Facebook group, FIP yeah. Warriors. There's yep. a bunch of them in every city. We just found out and they have been amazing. They've been Johnny on the spot with responses mm -hmm. and being able to go somewhere in Austin in any city to help our babies out. Yeah, dude, it was crazy. So from the time that the vet was like, hey, get on Facebook and get and find this group, from the time that she said that to the time that I had a syringe with the medication in my hand, it was like four hours. That's like, insane. These guys are so insanely efficient at, at finding, they've made this like vast network of cat lovers. It's saving our babies, so here we are. I'm not gonna lie, the injections are awful, but I mean, look at her. Look at her. She would have never done this before. Look, she's in play mode. Where's your toys? She's so cute, dude. She's so cute. You know what's funny that I realized the last video I put out of her, that was the last time she played. It's been a while. It's been a long it's time. It's crazy. We just thought, you know, she's a rag doll. They tend to be docile. They're the most docile of all of the kittens. Well, one of the most. And we just thought that she was docile. Nope, she was sick. Super sick. I'm just so happy that she's gonna survive. All right, and on that note, with Happy, it's a circle of life, you know? Yeah. With Happy, we were super excited because he lived the most wonderful life. So yeah. for Happy, when he passed, we're like, you know, salute to that guy. Yeah. Salute to him. He, he lived a long, long, healthy, chill life. Now, as far as getting another one, I can't do it. Yeah. I can't do it. Around the same time that he passed, which is about a week ago, we were a week into her outlook and it wasn't looking good. And like, my heart can't take this. Yeah, dude. Yeah. So we- uh, Let's take a little break from little critters for a second. Just for a second. And so we passed on some stuff to some other people so that they can give theirs a better life. Oh my gosh, she's I'm mad. I'm mad. so cute. She just over there bathing. She wasn't bathing herself, that's another sign. Look at Margie, Margie's like, open the door. <laughs> open the door. <laughs> Oh, baby. Sending lots of love out to all of our furry babies out there, small and large. And thank you all for your wonderful words of support, encouragement, love for our happy. It means the world to us. Mm -hmm. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. bye. Say bye. Say bye. You're doing better. Go ahead. Yeah. She just, she just barely walks out <laughs> every time. She's like, doo, doo, doo. <laughs> you are not going out <laughs> ever, 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 ever. ever. You are an indoor kitty. She's like, please don't touch me. I just bathed. Oh my gosh, she's licking. You're so cute. All right, guys, we'll see y'all next time. Oh, bye bye.